Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm posting a longer speed paint of when I attempted to do the jelly art style. Um, so the sketch was really not a lot to talk about. I ended up doing this first sketch, and as you can see, it's kind of... Uh, her face is kind of long, and I didn't love it, so I wrote down what I needed to change, and then I started a new sketch over it. I'm significantly happier with this sketch, and in fact, I don't bother doing line art, and I just paint on top of it when it comes to color. I was thinking about putting a band-aid on the side of her face, like one of the illustrations I've done of her, which, by the way, this is my OC Mox. She's sort of like a, uh, like a mascot or a persona, um, but she's my first original character and my favorite. Um, so for the colors I tried to reference from pictures of jelly art, um, but I never found a green. So here's a close-up of me rendering the face with some of the colors that I took from the pictures. And I'm really happy with how it turned out, honestly. Um, it was a little rougher in the beginning, but I was live streaming the entire time on TikTok, and so it was really fun. I mean, I didn't have a lot of viewers, but the people that did show up were really cool. So things I focused on other than the colors, the softness, and lack of contrast are a lot of accessories. And um, I decided to add stars to her eyes because she has like a star motif going on in this piece for some reason, which I really wanted to lean into when I found out, well, when I saw what I was doing. Like that star pin is so cute. Oh, and here I drew her with blue eyes because I was gonna blend blue into the white of the eye. But I thought for a second, she might be really pretty with blue eyes. So here I'm rendering the rest of her body, I give the face a break, and I decide to make her shirt slide off her shoulder all cool-like. <laughs> um, and add some more reds to like that bra strap to add into her face and her lips. And you can see the colors up in the top of the screen that I color picked from different pieces that I found for inspiration. I tried to add some of the yellow into her top so that it was um, a motif that happened several times across the painting. Uh, I decided to give her a bunch of extra piercings because I see a lot of piercings um, on this kind of art. Another close-up on the rendering of the face. The nose was kind of tricky. Um, I gave her a bridge piercing here, but I actually end up getting rid of it But by the end of the piece. I give her scrunchies and some stickers. I, I don't think I've seen a lot of stickers on jelly art, but it just felt like a no-brainer to me. It's super cute and like stickers on the face make sense. And I actually add a star sticker to add into the star motif. And um, I put a smiley face sticker on her face right here. And I bring the band-aid back, although it, do it doesn't stay. I end up getting rid of it. Um, and one of her pins actually has a lightning bolt because the shirt she's wearing is a shirt with a lightning bolt on it. Not for any particular reason, I just think it's cute. I just needed a design for a shirt when I was drawing her out, so I did that. Um, and she used to have X um, like hair clips in her hair to hold up her pigtails, but I'd since um, stopped drawing those most of the time. So I decided, since hairpins are huge in the style, I um, put... A couple like I guess bobby pins in her front piece of bangs making an X and I don't know I really like it I might draw her in that again it's really cute uh, a couple more bobby pins in the hair or hair clips um, the way I rendered the hair here is so satisfying because it's so low contrast I found myself fighting myself um, to not add more contrast to the piece because um, I've been working on like darker, more saturated values, and then this style goes against everything I've been trying to achieve. But I really, really love it. And the reason I started trying this style, other than it going viral and me thinking it was gorgeous, is I wanted to like practice how they rendered skin because it was always so pretty and dewy. And I like to think that I achieved the look I was going for here. I put a bunch of overlays over the whole thing. Uh, lots of emphasis on her eyes. Trying to get her lips nice and big and juicy. They aren't usually that juicy, but again, everyone in that style has such big, juicy, kissable lips, I had to do it. Um, not too much to say about this from here on out, really. It's just kind of me rendering away at it. Um, there goes the band-aid. 
and I added some highlights to the eyes to really emphasize them because I want them to be the first thing you see when you look at the piece. Let me know if it was. Um, let me know what the first thing you saw was. So one of the stickers on her face is a full heart and the other one is a little broken heart. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day.